Hi, this is Simon Chan, and welcome to the No BS, No Hype Network Marketing Training. Members of my coaching mastermind groups can ask me questions on a weekly basis, and today's question comes from an advanced Diamond Mastermind member, Hermian, out in Australia. And she actually asked a question, do you change your marketing position to different audience? For example, when people ask, what do you do for a living? Do you answer the same to everyone, or do you differentiate them first and answer differently? So, Hermian, um, one of the important things about marketing is, and I'm going to send the link down there uh, for you to review, is uh, Mac, right? Before you create any type of marketing, and, and I want to, I could answer this question very simply, but I'm going to give you a little bit more details because I want you to start thinking in terms of not just prospecting on a normal basis, but when you create your newspaper ads or websites or blogs, I want you to start thinking about that. Number one, the Mac is a review is number one, your message. Number two, audience. Number three, channel. And you always start with the audience first. Audience. Who's your audience, right? So if your audience is into the products, I don't talk about the business. If they're interested in only products, I don't talk about the business. If they're interested in the business, I don't spend much time talking about the products. So give you a good example. Um, Yesterday, I talked about, uh, to a prospect that you know, not into high, very low key, you know, slow talking, but the products were very important to her. You know, she, she talked about the importance of products. And I found this out by letting her talk, asking her questions. All right. So I, I would ask her questions. When you look for opportunities, what are some things you look for? And she didn't even mention about company. She did not mention about company credibility. She didn't mention about making money, being financially free. All she spent talking for five minutes was about products. So if I know that when I did my presentation, I talk very little about compensation, money, and I spend all my time talking about the products, the background of the company, the founder, and the credibility, or the customers I have, how easy it is to sell. So I focus my message to the audience. Okay? And it's the same thing when you run advertising. So to answer your question, um, what do you do for a living? Absolutely. I answer that question different depending on what that person uh that person uh, is interested in. And normally when they ask me what I do for a living, I just say, I'm an entrepreneur. I have my own business. What do you do for a living? I, and I ask the question back and try to find more clues about that person before I talk about the before I find what angle you know I go at. Okay, So she, the person is trying to find out about me. I turn around. I want to learn about him. I keep asking to learn about him to find out whether the person would be a better prospect for business or for products. And then I would... Uh, then I'll go back. Oh, you know how I talk about being an entrepreneur. One of the things I do, I share that. Okay. But if he was interested in the products and I say, I'm, I'm, I'm doing network marketing business, working at home. And the person loves his job and doesn't want to have a side business. Then be pointless. But I would ask, ask, ask. And maybe if the person's really into health, I'll, I'll say, you know, before I talk about, I was an entrepreneur and you know, one of the things we do, I market nutritional supplements, you know, would you be interested in taking a look at some, some, some of the thing products I have, it could help you. Again, that message is much more really, that person would be much more interested than if I went out and give a generic answer. Right? So I hope that helps. And remember MAC marketing, the message, audience and channel, but start with the audience. Who is your audience? And once you know your audience, then you have a better message. Okay, that relates to that person. And the last one, C, is channel. How are you going to deliver that? But audience first and always customize. Customize, your pres- if possible, your prospecting, your, your presentation to what the audience is interested in. All right, this is Simon Chan. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Take care.